Hi, right, so this is uh, my latest explanation for my design rationale difficulty progression. So I'll go with uh, level 1 first. Okay, so this is uh, quite simple. I always introduce two compass, compass at the start, just to let the player uh, not get associated with it a bit. So this is uh, the first obstacle damage is the bullet bill and the cannons. So what the player must do at this section is basically just avoid them. It's uh, very simple. It's the, basically the first evolution of the how the obstacles are supposed to play out. Uh, but they'll get harder uh, later on in the level. So these are the first two enemies that the player will encounter, which is the Red Ninji, which is very simple, just jumps. And uh, Scrap. So Scrap actually, uh, Scrap should be interesting. He actually uh, vomits out this ball. So the player can actually destroy the ball and Scrap with his uh, the fireball power up. This is the second rendition of the evolution of the bullet bill. Basically, uh, cannons coming from the bottom. You can choose to just uh, jump on them, or basically just jump over the whole thing. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, more there's more scratch and shit. So this is the fire bar. Uh, it's very simple for them to avoid. Just walk over. Again, more red ninjas. So the player actually has a few choices how to be a devil. That's the one we just use the fireball. They can either spin, spin across, or they can jump on each red, jump on top of each red ninja. It doesn't really matter. This is the interesting part. So this is the introduction of the bow bomb, basically an uh, bomb enemy. So to trigger the bow bomb, I actually have to step on it this way. So I, I basically force the player to step on it, so they can actually understand how to use the bomb. The bomb because previously, when in my first uh, rendition of the level, when this was here, people were understanding how to use the bomb, basically. So this is another rendition of the bullet bill, bullet cannons coming from the top. Okay, so yeah, they can also grab it, and they are, and since they from the from the start, they they will understand that uh, the golden bricks can be broken. Uh, we buy the bow bomb basically. So yeah, it's just a reward thing. Okay. More of the I put it a certain uh path from certain uh lengths from each other, so the player constantly has to avoid them at certain sections. So this is another rendition of the bullet bill and cannon. I basically combine them so that they have like a diagonal area plus a top area. So so the player kind of has to uh, avoid them. Find more, uh, yeah, basically avoid them. Uh. Yeah, this is another section with the bow bomb. So before I enter the bonus level, actually at the bottom there, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show just what what is over here. So basically, just uh, another bullet bill of another rendition with the horizontal and vertical together, and a longer fire bar, which is also quite straightforward to avoid. So now I enter the bonus level. So this is the uh, bonus level. Basically, there's a bullet bill here, right? Okay, after he defeats the bullet bill, he can he or she can actually move. Forward. So that's actually a bullet bill for every gold brick that spawns. So it basically provides challenge and extra points uh, for the player to get. This is, okay. so this is how the bonus level was made. That's eh? quite straightforward. I might actually just skip the whole thing. Eh? Okay. So he just climbs the. So here is like uh, where I actually diverge the house in a two way, uh, as you can see from the bottom. So player actually has to first carry a key, then he or she has to learn the intervals of where the bullet is for the right path. Uh. So I'll go down the right path first. Right straight forward. Okay, now I'll just go back up so I can show the left path. Try I might just die. Yeah. Yeah, die. So the left path is maybe slightly easier countered by some. Uh, there's just two diagonal cannons, but this they shoot at the same time, so the players still don't have to counter with them basically. Then over here there's another bow bomb which the player has to use to break the wall. As you can see, when the bow bomb explodes uh, and the player doesn't doesn't manage to break the wall, then yeah, it just it just happens. So right, it's a choice I have between uh, both paths. It is kind of a combination of what the player has learned so far. Uh, through the bullet bills and the bull bombs. So after the player enters the uh, final part, also against straightforward is uh, using the bull bombs. So he just breaks the golden bricks here. So 
I gave the cannons to provide an extra challenge when he reaches the second division. And yeah, that's the end of the second level. Like the first level. On to the second level. So the second level, I introduced a new mechanic, which is the shell. The shell basically does is you can use it to kill the worms and the, uh, the metal shell enemy. But without it, it will be significant, uh, significantly harder than for sure because these are normally unkillable by normal means. And in order to teach the player how to use the shell, I actually made a one, uh, one height. I made a path so the, the player can only pass through it with the shell basically. Which is quite easy. But however, if the player is not fast enough, then he will fall by the donuts uh, because the donuts will collapse. And here is to teach the player how to climb the net. It's quite straightforward, they just have to climb the net all the way. Initially, initially there was a moving platform here which takes the player, but uh, I, I got feedback that it was too redundant and unnecessary, so I just put the net here. Uh, I also put a net here, for, I'll explain it later in the different exceptions. So this is the introduction to the chain chomp, which is quite sure they just have to avoid it or they can kill it with the shell block. Okay, now for the net section. So initially this was my first intro, which is really bad. I shouldn't have uh, made this my first introduction to nets, but I thought it was pretty easy. So the, basically the, the obstacle, the spike wall chain thing, it, uh, some players find it difficulty passing through it. So that's why I made the kind of a uh, tutorial session for the net. It is just a boom guy. There are more obstacles like forms and the introduction to the chain. Nothing much, but this is what I uh, call it maybe the second evolution. Because I basically combined everything. And yeah, this is also the introduction to uh, the bouncer statues, which cannot be killed by the shell, so the player simply has to avoid it. As for the why the spike wall chains on the top here actually is to uh, allow the player to uh, this allow the player to avoid obstacles by just standing on question blocks. As for this section, I combined it with the fire bar that the player learned in the previous level. So it will make quite uh, a unique experience. And make, basically make the net more difficult. And I also introduced the chain chomps to the net. So yeah, the player has to uh, learn how to avoid these obstacles on the net instead of on the ground. Basically like a, what is the third evolution. As for Bowser, yeah, he's just there. But Bowser, but I eventually introduced him a second time, but he's quite straightforward to avoid, so. This is, uh, this is my first introduction to Twin. Uh, I might, I might actually be over introducing him here because of the because of the additional obstacles I put, such as the Bowser statues and the fight ball and chain. So if I kill the team. Oh yeah, and the cannon. This time. I brought back just one cannon in this level. So at least uh, the player can be kept on the previous level. It's quite straightforward. And I I eventually evolve it so that there'll be a chain strong with the team. Uh, combined with the Bowser statue. Yeah, this is the final part. So this part has a bit of forms. So what the player just has to do is just pass through the whole thing by running through. After the player runs through, he has to pass these uh, donut, collapsible donuts, which he or she will then have, we have learned in like the previous level at the beginning. And then he will encounter this row, which is quite straightforward, just grab onto the rope and it will transport you around. On the day she or she will encounter another Bowser which is quite easy to avoid. Again, it's just there to, to give the player more or just feel more rewarded for killing more Bowsers. It's not really that big of a problem. But the player, uh, yeah, some, sometimes the player will just badly learn that you can actually kill Lukupas by stepping on them uh, through, the, through the net. And yeah, just like my first introduction of the Hyper Koopa. Not much of a problem, but it's it's uh, quite interesting to, to learn how to counter. So this basically when I basically uh, my introduction to the player for the boom booms. Uh, I I would like to call this a boss fight, but unfortunately in this game you there's no way of like hindering the player from progressing without uh, with uh, by killing the bosses. So yeah, they're just there to hinder the player from the final win. And yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching.